Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to use your client portal within Notion. So if you're like me and you're a bit of a nerd at organisation and you get satisfaction from ticking off checklists, then hopefully you will love this setup. First of all, I'm very excited to have you on board with me and I can't wait to get going on the branding for your business. You may be wondering though, why use a client portal? Can we not just use emails for communication? Well, emails are still a great way for us to communicate, of course. So we can still do that, but the client portal is a bit different. It's good to help us stay on top of things such as our project timeline, design feedback, and for uploading and downloading files and information, as opposed to things getting lost in terms of emails and email threads. It basically just keeps everything all in one place for you. So if you don't mind just taking a few minutes of your time to watch this video, then you'll be all set to use your client portal in Notion for this project. So let's get started. So first of all, getting Notion itself. What is great about Notion is you don't have to download the Notion app if you don't want to. You can view it via the web, but if you do decide you want to download the app, you can, it's, it's completely free. So that's a bonus. As you're watching this video, I've likely already sent you the link to your client portal. I've set the settings on here, personalized to you, and so you can edit and comment. It's also only shared to you, so no need to worry about the privacy of, of your project and data. So, right, going into the client portal. So this is the actual client portal template that I use to start everyone's client portals. But this is basically a rough idea of what you will be looking at on your screen. So I'll go over each section. You've got your introduction and then your client portal is essentially made up of two columns. So first of all, I'll start with the right column. At the top, you've got the link to the video that you're watching now if you ever get stuck and you want to watch that again. Then we've got your project information. So we've got the start date and the estimated date. Obviously, the estimated end date may change uh, depending on if we add deliverables or if communication takes a bit longer than expected. But I will always do my best to give you a, a guide on when the project will end. If we click on this toggle, we've got your project deliverables. Obviously at the moment it just says one, two, three, but depending on the package that you've chosen, it might say logo design, for example, or social media assets, for example. So we can just tick those off as we go and it helps us to stay on track of what we have and haven't done throughout the project. Okay, so then we go down to progress. So the project timeline, this is highlighted in yellow because it needs to be easy to, for you to find and it's the most important section of the whole client portal. I will go back to that in a minute because I need to go through it with you properly. But just to continue down the right column, we've got my contact details in case you haven't got them already, or although you likely have. And we've got my opening hours as well. And then here we've got uh, links to my social media accounts. So if you want to be uh, posting little previews of behind the scenes of us building your brand, then you can tag me in, which would be great for exposure. And also I've added a little section for you here, a to-do list. So if you have any reminders or to-dos throughout the project, you can literally just pop in your text here. As you can see, it's easy to type. Um, you can add more and you can tick off. So it's very handy. Then I haven't missed this out, but we've got useful resources. I'll quickly go through these. I've provided almost blog type um, posts for you. So one for providing the best feedback. If you have a little read of this, it just helps you to basically give me the best feedback. Um, if you're not sure on something, how, how to get your ideas across. Um, it's just a, a, a nice way of helping that out. Then we've got a guide to file types. So I've gone through all the different file types and I've tried to explain how they all work as well. Then we have a guide to print finishes. Obviously, if you are having print collateral, I will go through this with you when we come to it, but if you want to have a little read, it's good just to get your, your mind and the know-how of all the different terms and different styles you could go down. It's just to, to get you in, in the loop, basically. Then we've got a guide to paper. So that's paper sizes, paper weights, paper finishes. People tend to get really confused, so I've tried to keep it simple in here for you as well. Okay, so let's go back to project timeline as promised. So the project timeline might look a bit overwhelming when you first see it, but I promise you it is a dream to work with. So first of all, I do need to mention that I do usually require 
contact from you within two business days. Anything outside of this may incur a disruption fee. This is, is all mentioned in the contract as well. Unless we communicate via email and agree to an ex- to extend the deadline. So if you need more time to look over or to think about something or you've got some things going on at home or whatever it is, just let me know. Obviously, I can extend the deadline if you need to. I just need it in writing so it doesn't sort of mess with my schedule. Um, but yes, just bear in mind that it might, uh, that it will probably extend the deadline date of the project, um, the completion date, I mean. So to explain the table, so we've got these different columns here. The first column is your task description. So I've literally labelled every single task from literally sign project contract all the way through to leaving me a lovely testimonial at the end. So everything that it's going to take to sort of get your, com- your project completed. So all the task descriptions are in here. Then we've got who the task is for. So the green is client de- and designer, which is something that you and I will need to do together. So that might be a Zoom call or sign the project contract, for example. Then we have the purple tags, which is client to designer. So this is something that I will need you to do for me. And then we've got designer to client. So that is obviously something that I need to do for you. Then we've got notes. So when to expect things, any other little notes in there as well regarding the uh, task. And then here we've got the deadline date. So I don't normally fill all of the deadline dates in. We'll do this as we go because you might get back to me quicker, for example, or I might be able to complete something quicker or it might be a bit longer, whatever it is. So it's usually easier to do as we go, but this is something you'll need to keep an eye on throughout the project. So we're, we're on time with things. And then this is the best part. <laughs> this is where we'll get the most satisfaction because we will be ticking things off as we go and when it gets to the end it will just be a dream basically. So that is your project timeline. Obviously it might look a bit different depending on if, if you're having uh, branding and a website and a collateral or you might just be having branding and collateral for example but those are all ready for you. Okay so then moving on to the left column. So we've got these lovely colourful sections that I've created for you here. Again this might look a bit different but These first two sections or three sections are generally the same for everyone. So we've got phase one, onboarding. So in here, I've got my prices and packages brochure. If you need to refer back to it at any point, you would have got this at the beginning when you inquired. Um, But if you just want to go back and look through my packages and prices and things like that, then you can do. So let's go back to Notion. Then we've got your initial inquiry. So... Obviously, if you came through my web form, then this is where I'll put the link in for you if you ever want to go back to that and see what you answered, some of the questions um, to your to the web inquiry. Um, and then we've got the project proposal. So that was the PDF that I sent you before we started this project. So if you ever need to refer back to that, that's in here as well. OK, then we go on to let's get started. So we've got the discovery questionnaire, which we'll go into first. So the discovery questionnaire is... is really important actually so there's a section here if you want to add in your Pinterest board so I know you've been pinning away and you've probably been dying to show me your ideas so you can add in the link there then this is the important bit that I was just talking about so if you click on this it will take you through to the web page where you need to download this PDF so that's really important make sure you download it first um, so it's on your computer so this is the questionnaire All the fields are editable um, and it will be editable still when you um, download it as well. Uh, But make sure you do, don't fill it in on the web, otherwise it won't work. You have to do it on your computer. So fill in the questionnaire as uh, thoroughly as you can. Don't worry if you can't answer everything. Um, So if you just head back to Notion, once you've filled in the questionnaire, make sure you save it and just drop it back into here, re-upload it into this section here. And if you have any other comments, you've got a section here to write some stuff as well. But that's basically the discovery questionnaire section. So let's go back. Then we've got your client contract. So my client contract is uh, done using an online software. So I will pop in the web link to your contract where you can view and sign. And it will always stay there for you to refer back to throughout the project if you need it. The same with invoicing and payments. Everything's done on my software online. The same one that's used for the contracts. So I'll pop in the links here for you to view and pay 
and if you ever need to refer back to them as well. And if we end up with any additional invoices, they'll be popped into here as well. So I've got some notes in here on how to do the, uh, on how the payment works, but obviously this is all in the contract. And then there's a little section here so we can keep on track with if the deposit's been paid and final payment and things like that. So all very organized, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay, then we move on to brand three, brand discover, uh, phase three even, the brand discovery. So I've probably already told you about this, but before we sort of start, we'll have a brand discovery session, which will be an online video chat, probably via Zoom. Um, and it's basically going to be a workshop. It usually takes a full day actually to do. I've got different sort of um, tasks that we go through together and some fun activities and we just get to the bottom of your brand. Um, so all the discovery session notes from your discovery session will be popped into a PDF on here for you to refer back to if you need. Then usually two to three weeks after the brand discovery session, you will receive your brand discovery uh, brand discovery document. So obviously after I've done all my research, everything will be collated into one PDF for you. Then if you have any notes and feedback regarding the brand strategy, I do have one section here where you can pop in your thoughts and there's some questions here as well. So usually I only allow one sort of uh, rev revision on the brand strategy purely because it is sort of a starting off point to your brand identity. Um, so there's usually any sort of one round of amends on those, on that for you. Um, okay, then we move on to the fun stuff. So phase four, the branding. So similar sort of concept really. So you'll have your first draft. Um, so I'll, once I've done your initial concepts, I'll pop the PDF into here for you. So the same concept as before, you can pop in your notes and feedback in here. There's a bunch of questions. They may vary on the different pages. If you're getting stuck and giving feedback, again, I've got a link to the post about providing the best feedback if you need it. Then you're entitled to two revisions on your branding. So again, I'll pop in the PDF here and you can leave in your notes and feedback in those sections. Once you have... Uh, once we've basically got to the bottom of your design, then your final draft will be popped into here for you. Okay, so then we move on to brand collateral. So again, if, you have, if you've chosen a package that allows for the brand, I think you get two design collaterals in the brand strategy package, but there might be some different ones as well. So there's a list of all the things that you're entitled to. So it might be a business card design, for example, there's two sections for the two different collaterals. So let's say, for example, you'd have business card in here and then you might have Instagram highlights here. So you'll have first draft. And again, you're entitled to two revisions. And you can put your feedback and then the final draft will be popped in here as well. Same goes for the, the other collateral. OK, so then we go on to the website design. So if you if you're going for the web design, the first thing you'll need to do is fill in this website questionnaire. So looking at this, you'll need to pop in your the pages that you want for your website. Um, you're entitled to five pages in total. Obviously, if we have discussed that you need more pages um, at, at an additional cost, then you can add those in as well. Um, but for example, you might want to add in homepage, about page, services or blog or whatever it is that you need for your website. Then there'll be other questions here about what kind of contact details you need on there. Do you need any special features on there, such as social media, contact form? So you just need to go through and fill that in. OK, so then once you filled in the website questionnaire, that's going to allow me to be able to create your website wireframe. So this doesn't involve any design per se. It's more just it's literally a wireframe of your website. So you can leave your notes and feedback in there. And then once that's done, we'll be able to start put, uh, putting together your copy and images. So usually that is something that I need you to do for me, um, unless obviously we're doing your copying and writing services and images, if we've agreed that. Um, but just to show you what a page looks like, obviously, for example, this could be homepage, this might be introduction section, this might be introduction to your portfolio, whatever it is that you've decided to have on the website. So you can add your copy in here for me 
and then you can add your images here. To add images, you can literally drop, uh, drag and drop your images from the desktop into this section, or you can forward slash, type an image, and you can upload your images that way, which is also very handy. Okay, so then what will happen is we'll move over to the homepage mockup. So the homepage mockup will be the your branding basically put into one page so i'll come up with a design for your website i'll only do one page for now um, until you're happy with the design and then i'll move on to doing the rest of the pages so you can leave your notes and feedback for that once you're happy with the home page mock-up that's as i mentioned i'll do the whole website for you still in pdf format you'll have two revisions on the pdf documents um, and then once that's approved, that's when it will move over to the, the, to the live development. Um, so once you have received your uh, live website, which usually takes about two to three weeks afterwards, um, after you've approved your website mock-up, you'll have one week in total to give me all the amends for your, on, for your live website, basically. So that will be uh, where you can leave your notes in there for that. So then I've added a link to your website here and you'll see there'll be a password as well to access the back end of your website because um, you'll likely have a coming soon page, for example. Then, as promised, we've got the website tutorial section. Obviously, there's nothing in here yet because I film the tutorials for each website, depending on what platform you've chosen. So um, we might have felt that Squarespace is best for you or um, WordPress, for example. So like this video, I'll film some tutorials on how to upload your blog and upload a portfolio piece and make changes to your website if you need to. So as mentioned briefly before, if you are struggling to collate content for your website, we do have extra services for you. So we have website copywriting service and we also have brand photo shoots as well that we can offer for you. So I have prepared a couple of pages ready for if you need those services. Um, but obviously if you don't, then we'll remove that off the client portal for you. Okay, then we move on to the final process, um, which is basically your final files. So we'll have in this section will be a link to your brand guidelines. Then you'll have a link here to your brand assets. Um, usually your brand assets are too big to send via something like WeTransfer or email. So I'll probably send you a link to my uh, Dropbox where all your files will be. And you are more than welcome to always go back to this link if you need to, to download all the files um, from my Dropbox link as and when you need them. Um, just keeps things easier that way and it's not taking up loads of space on your computer. And then we've got collateral artwork files. So obviously, for example, if you did go for a business card, this is where I'll pop in the link to that. Um, and uh, I don't know, so social assets, for example, that will all go in here. And then this is the last section. You don't have to do this, but obviously it'd be really appreciated if you did. Overall feedback and reviews for the whole uh, project and service. So I've given you some ratings out of five. You can rate me on my customer service, discovery session, prices, um, and it just really helps me moving forward to create a better service for my clients. Okay, and then this section here, we've got an area for you to actually write a full-on testimonial, which I'll post onto my website and my social media. So it will also help you with a bit of exposure as well because I'll be sharing your project and your brand and your lovely words will be in there as well. And if you're feeling brave, I would absolutely love it if you could upload a testimonial video for me, just on your whole experience, how much you love your brands. Um, I'll use it for my social media and maybe even my website. Um, but if you do that, I will actually knock £20 off your final project payment. So I really hope you, you do that as well, because it will be amazing if you could. So that pretty much concludes the client portal. Again, like I said, it might look a bit different to you. Obviously, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, I'm happy to go over it with you. But otherwise, that is pretty much everything. So hopefully you can see the value of it and how it's going to help us moving forward and to keep this whole process smooth. But otherwise, that is all for today. I'll see you on the other side and I can't wait to work with you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.